Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 1st through th July 8th. Keep in mind that my readings are generally love readings, so if you're not looking for love, then you probably shouldn't watch my, my readings um, because my readings are love readings. Um, this is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. You need to be really careful about the decisions that you are making at this time. You need to make sure you're making the right decisions. We, Virgo got this card as well. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have the Judgment card here. This could represent Scorpio, but I feel as though somebody has to make a decision and you need to make a wise one. Okay, you need to make a wise decision. And I think that you're probably confused at this time about whether what is the right decision. This decision is regards is in regards to love or money or love or assets or where does it where does it which one is more important to you? I mean, look at it. He's he, saying hold up. I mean, it's like what I told Virgo. He's saying hold on a minute. Are you thinking clearly here? Do you want love or do you want assets? I mean, what 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 is it going to be? I see that you guys are very focused. You're right in your element. You're focused on your job. You're very business oriented. You're focusing on your money quite a bit. But the fact of the matter is that you're beautiful. You are beautiful. Um, that Empress card, she gets by on very little. Okay, She doesn't have to chase people or opportunities because she is shining. See the light around her head? She is so bright. She is shining so beautifully that people and opportunities chase her. And she knows what she's worth, so she doesn't have to be confused. She doesn't have to worry because she knows that she's going to get what she needs to survive. This is a judge. This is karma. Is the judgment card. So this is a judgment call, and this is a judgment call too. You need to make sure you're choosing for choosing a situation for the right reasons. Are you choosing a situation because it's it's got more materialistic value or are you choosing a situation because it's love well that's a good question isn't it um other people see that you are stalling that you aren't going nowhere in the situation that you're you're procrastinating this is how other people see you the fact of the matter is, the basis of this whole reading this week is evolved. You have evolved. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're changing at a pretty high speed, you know, high rate. You're you're evolving. You are. It's like you're going through some sort of re renewal here, kind of like a, a transformation, a transition of some sort. You've gained a lot of wisdom throughout your life through all this hard work, hard, hard, hard work that you have done, but you're stalling, you're still, you're still focused on the job and you're stalling, making a decision, putting love first, okay? There's an opportunity here for happiness in a relationship, okay? But you have to have self-love first and you do need to put love first. This Empress is, she's the goddess of love. She's ruled by Venus. Venus is the, the planet of love, okay? So you have to put love first to become this woman. When She puts love first and everything else falls right into place because she's such a beautiful person. It's, it's hard to explain, but her light causes people and opportunities to come to her aid at any all the time. So I feel as though your challenge right now is happiness in a relationship. Your challenge, this is a challenge position, is a relationship. It's a challenge because you're so focused on your coin. So your advice, your advice is to, I mean, we have the Ace of Swords reversed and the Two of Swords reversed as advice. 
somebody's not being honest, not being truthful, not communicating their true desires. There's a lot of being overly cautious. That's that's your challenge. You're being overly cautious. But your future is saying you need to you need to you need to communicate. You need to stop being so emotionally guarded. You're so emotionally guarded from getting hurt in a relationship that you only focus on your job. You only focus on your money. The overall outcome is finding the strength to endure, the finding the strength, the confidence, the courage, the self-esteem to face your fears in regards to a relationship. That's why this card is here. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Is it... What do you want in life? I mean, do you do you want to have your judgment day? Because this is judgment, okay? This is judgment. It's stable karma in this deck, but it is the judgment card. At judgment day, do you want to look back at all those possessions that you couldn't take with you and be, you know, it was a lonely life. It was a lonely life because you chose that instead. really really focused on your work memories of the past are haunting you therefore there's no growth you're not allowing growth you're not feeling excited about a relationship because of the memories there's a loss of self here repression keeping secrets Not really communicating, being, using uh, silence as kind of like a protective tactic. Protecting yourself through silence. Not, not receiving any new stable solid opportunities because you're not choosing wisely. With the, this is choose wisely. Fear of being taken advantage of. Being naive to what's really important in life. Lack of faith. There's a lack of faith in love here. We talked about this already recently in a reading. So afraid to be taken advantage of. So afraid to fly. So afraid to, to start a new journey with anybody. You know, to have a fresh start with anybody. I'm so afraid that I'm going to be taken advantage of. So I'm just going to bury myself in my work and my job. You know, and, and really not give love much much effort maybe a little i mean you guys are capricorn you are ruled by the devil so yeah lust plays a part but but lust and love are two different things where's the love here is the love of money because i see a lot of money You need to stop worrying about the losses that you've had. You need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You need to stop having these regrets. Everything happens for a reason. You need to take back your life. You need to be in control. You need to, you need to get your life back on track. You need to dominate this situation. You need to be strong. You need to free yourself from those negative thoughts that you're going to be taken advantage of and I'm only going to be hurt and I don't have faith. You need to free yourself of them thoughts. Seriously, this is freedom, liberation. This is forgiveness as well. The judgment card is about forgiveness. Forgive, forgive, forgive. And we talked about this in the last one. We're looking for a different reading, please. What about future and love? These, well, they're not, if they're not ready for love, then there's nothing you can do about it. I understand that, but they want love. I think they want love. 
but they're going through a period of recuperation right now. They're resting because they got to prove themselves. You know, they're, they're feeling like they need to prove themselves at this time. There's a lot of power struggles going on. Very indecisive, you know, unable to make any kind of decision at this time, not being truthful with themselves. I'm talking to you guys right now. You guys aren't being truthful. You're not being honest with yourselves in some situation. You, things may be a little harsh right now. You feel like everybody's going to harm you? Is that what you think? You think that just because the last one hurt you, that the rest of them are going to hurt you too? There's an opportunity for a beautiful union here. But you need to let go of those thoughts that everybody is going to hurt you. You really need to think about this. Do you want to grow old alone? Because there's an opportunity to grow old alone. There's also an opportunity to have love. But you have to choose love and realize that not everybody is going to hurt you. If you want love, if you're, you're, this is a love reading, you're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to put your defenses down. You're going to have to put your defenses down and... Uh, let me rephrase this. I said you're going to have to fight for it. That's wrong. You're going to have to stop guarding yourself. You're going to have to put your defenses down. You're going to have to put love up there on the list. Love before lust. Love before work. There is an opportunity for a connection here. Perhaps even a soulmate connection. If you could accept the fact that not everybody is out to harm you. And let your guard down. You could be dealing with the Aries. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have Virgo. You have Taurus and Libra. You have, like I already, I already mentioned, you definitely have Earth signs. Um, that's what I see so far. I'm sure there's other signs here. It doesn't really matter what sign. But I do feel like there's a, an opportunity for a union that is super meant to be. Okay, look at them. It's beautiful. But your worry is holding it holding it from happening the the mental despair the worry that you know if i let my guard down i will be taken advantage of i will be hurt i will be used afraid of being cheated you are so afraid of being cheated Ready to catch anybody in the act at any moment. I'm You are on guard. It's like, I'll catch you. You know, and if, if people are going to run from that, just saying. If, you, if you're always thinking that you've got to catch somebody doing something, then, you know, that's going to push them away. There is an opportunity. You could be receiving a new message. You could be receiving an unexpected and welcome message of love. In which you will have to have faith. You will have to have strength and confidence and courage to accept it. So yeah, I believe, Capricorn, that you could have a new opportunity for love. If you could step outside of your fears and make the decision. You have to make a decision here. Hold up. Do you want love? Do you want it? There's an opportunity. Hold up. What you own owns you. You can go to that grave with this judgment card with all your possessions. No, you can't. When you're laying in that hospital bed at 80 or whatever age it is and you have nobody, how are you going to feel then? You have to forgive the past, you have to shed the past, and you have to allow new love to happen, and you have to put it as a priority if that's what you want, if you don't want to grow old alone, because that hermit card reversed is, is growing old alone, fear of growing old alone, or growing old alone, but if that's what you choose, that's what you own. If you want love, you have to put effort into love. So yeah, I feel like you could be receiving some 
some fast communication this week from somebody who wants to offer you some sort of commitment or love or connection or union or partnership. You could be receiving some sort of message that is, is it's unexpected. You do want it. It's going to make you happy. But you get it and you're like, oh, I don't trust you. My guard is up. This can't be right. What do you have up your sleeve? You know? So you automatically are like, hmm. Therefore, you know, you could lose the opportunity. Capricorn, first week of July, has to make a very complex decision. Where does love rank? Where does it rank? on my list of priorities. Woo! Fell out, flipped over. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Capricorn. Choose wisely. This is the part of the problem. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And it's not about just forgiving your parents. It's about forgiving, period. Maybe you've been abandoned since you were a child. There's abandonment issues here anyway. There is. Therefore, I don't trust. There's an opportunity for a new love connection that could possibly be a soulmate with that two of cups could possibly and it could lead to happiness with the ten of cups under here it could lead to happiness if you could let your guard down and invest time in it and choose wisely if you want it you have to you have to move it up you have to you know the ranking has to be like up at the top not second or third So anyway, this is an opportunity for new love, Capricorn. If you choose to accept it, you should be receiving a message or messaging somebody. It could go either way. You know, we have all the signs here, so it could be any sign. But I feel as though there is an opportunity that could make you very happy if you choose wisely. Sorry, I didn't get that zoomed in earlier. <laughs> 